far more disappointed in dogmatic atheists than I am in dogmatic theists. And the simple reason is because of the difference between the stereotypical perspectives between the groups of people. And these difference and this difference of perspective, they it lends themselves to dogmatism. They're obeying deities that are far powerful than us. Dogmatic adherence to their principles makes sense in their perspective, so I'm more willing to forgive it however much I might argue against it. And it, it just affects me a little less. I'm more willing to say, okay, I, I can understand it. At, at least I can understand it, and because of that understanding I can work with it. When it comes to atheistic dogmatism, it's a little harder to understand, because atheism, as kind of a rule, preaches nothing. Uh, there is only one belief that an atheist must have, and is that an atheist does not believe in God. But even with, and even that simple belief can be taken to such dogmatic extremes as to close out any possible other explanations for anything. But we come from a perspective of logic and critical thinking and reason, and we pretend to guide ourselves by these principles, yet Many atheists will say things like, ah, oh, Christianity caused the Dark Ages, when it's just factually and historically inaccurate, not to mention the fact that uh, many atheists will criticize creationists for being not up to date on their science, but will say things like the Dark Ages, even though that's not, you know, up to date historical knowledge. Uh, historians these days prefer to use the term Middle Ages rather than Dark Ages. Because the fact uh, Dark Ages is a prejudice left over from the Renaissance, the Age of Enlightenment, where we viewed that, those time periods as dark because of the incredible explosions of information and knowledge that happened during those periods. Despite the fact that incredible revolutions and innovations happened during these periods. Um, such as, uh, there, was a, there was a mini agricultural revolution where three field crop rotations, where you will have one field of summer crops, one field of winter crops, and one fallow field left to replenish nutrients, happened during the Middle Ages. There, there weren't near as many. They weren't as fast, but it wasn't as dark or dismal a time period as, as many people seem to make it out to be, and as many historians in the past have made it out to be. It is comparatively less impressive, but it is by no means dark. And by doing, and by doing such a thing, you're, you, you're, these atheists are doing the same exact thing that creationists or staunch fundamentalists of certain religions might do, when they try and argue against modern science, you know, and they use terms incorrectly, or they apply principles incorrectly. Atheists, I find, do this all the fucking time with history, especially the history of religion. Uh, for instance, it is, a, it is a relatively common thing for me to encounter an atheist who believes that all religion is evil. Uh, especially here on YouTube, and where we get a lot of the fringes of our particular movements uh, out and about. Um, which is completely and just factually inaccurate. People seem to forget the fact that without religion, civilization would have been largely impossible. Largely because civilizations used religion as a dominant power structure with which to to form fucking civilizations. Of course, I disagree with the modern existence of religion, and I likely would have argued for a better form of it back then, assuming I had the same beliefs, but of course that's based on my perspective as a post-enlightenment thinker. The, the point I'm trying to, to, to raise with all this is that since we claim to guide ourselves with reason and intelligence, we should criticize atheist dogmatism just as har harshly, if not more harshly, than religious dogmatism. While I am deeply critical of people I disagree with, I very much plan on criticizing a variety of atheists, because we're fucking idiots just as much as the rest of them. We just hide it a little better. Uh, that, that was a joke.